Hello everybody, it is Trish the Purple Yarnivore. I am coming to you because I have a fun video to make, or at least fun for me. First off, in my last video, or the video right before that, I had been working on a Christmas blanket. I'm already in the Christmas mood, but no worries. No Christmas decorations or tree has come out yet. <laughs> Not ready for that. Um, but um, I have a finished project, my Christmas blanket. Sorry to be redundant, redundant, redundant. <laughs> But I finally finished it. Now this was used. Of course, now my mind has just gone blank. Ugh. It's that winter hibernation thing where my brain slows down and wants to shut down. But I say, no, I have to human today. So, okay. Puff pastry. Yes. So I had gotten like. A yarn deal on Hershner's um, several months ago where you can get like a five pack of the puff pastry and I got the Christmas yarn and so I made a granny blanket and I have finished it look it I know I don't have enough space just to show the whole thing and I ran out but I wanted to do a really cute border and I'm unsure how the border looks with this but I have, I used these colors here because I thought, oh, maybe colors that are like the colors inside the blanket, but a little darker would make it pop. And I don't know if it's popping or just yuck, but I don't know. I like it. So, and of course the, the yarn around the edge wants to curl. This, this yarn is from Michael's, it's the soft and shiny yarn, which I like, but unfortunately it does curl. But yeah, that's what that looks like. And it is finally done. I was thinking about selling it in my Etsy shop, but I have a cat that, oh my God, sheds so bad. We're talking you pet him for five minutes and you have cat carpet on you, okay? <laughs> anyway, that's my fi finished objects or object. And I got some happy mail. One thing I did, I did order, okay? From my friend Betsy at Me, My Hook, and I. I kind of got it a little bit wrinkled, but I bought, I can't say it because I have my daughter in the room and it's for her for Christmas, but look. You're not looking, Halo. She got the door open. She trying to sneak a peek. Anyway, this is what I got her. Look at. Oh, isn't that awesome? I'm so excited. She keeps saying, I don't want it for Christmas, Mom. You should give it to me now. And then, along with this, I'm not gonna show you one of the things that she sent me because, well, I don't know, it seems kind of personal. So, but she did send me some things from a Yarnier box that she had gotten. Um, this is like a pattern book. It's got a crochet and a knit pattern. And she sent me some dye that I think was supposed to go with this. Now, this yarn here is 
flax and twine brand a happy handmade life it's dk weight it is called daytime linen and it's made in egypt it has a beautiful natural sheen to it uh, yeah yeah it is very twiny it is not a soft yarn but it says it gets more and more flexible as you work with it and it the natural is a boiled duret long fiber flax the accru has been bleached wash it soften up watch it soften up with washing so i'm looking forward to that um but with it i was sent some color dye stuff i'm not going to get all deep into that but some natural powder dyes this might be a base i don't know it's white but i have to read more on it when i'm actually ready to dye it but i'm so excited about that super excited and then she sent me another skein to dye because it's a natural fiber and that is this rico bomule Bommel. And it is Jarbo or Yarbo yarn. 100% recycled cotton. And this is a size 5. I kind of disagree with the size 5. I think that's more like a 4. But that's just my opinion. Um, anyway, I'm excited to die with that. She said that to me. Oh, by the way, before I forget, Betsy, my friend, has her own YouTube channel, M.E. My Hook and I. Check her out. I love her to death. I, right now, am making this video. Well, her a video she just posted is sitting in my notifications but i knew i had to get this video out so yes i'm trying to be quick as possible so i can rush to her video <laughs> and then she sent me i don't know what it is but i got a thing for this kapatoshka boutique by gina yarns and if you watch Miss Cinnamon Stitches, if you don't, please subscribe to Miss Cinnamon Stitches. But she just got, um, I think it's Mary Maxim, a box, subscription box that had some Gina yarn. You can check out her video. She'll tell you about it in her opinion. But I love this Kapitoshka Batik yarn which I got in another video from one of my other good friends. But this colorway, I thought it was so springy and beautiful. And as Miss Cinnamon Stitches said, uh, she and her husband researched for like an hour trying to find anywhere they could get this in the United States. And it is not available in the United States, which kind of makes me feel special because <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> but I got three skeins of this from her. And that was a surprise part because I was not expecting that. And I love it so much. And I got this, this color. I got a purple color from my friend Christine. I got a brown color that I had gotten from my own Ma uh, Mary Maxim mystery box. And then another person 
so kind. After I was asking, I uh, sent me a, a few more skeins of the brown because I was in the middle of doing a baby blanket and I wasn't going to get enough of it to um, finish the blanket. So I tried to get in touch with Mary Maxim and found, and found out you can't buy it. So I was in Miss Cinnamon Stitches group going, please, somebody, if you got this yarn. <laughs> anyway, that's not all I got. I have got a very tiny Amazon order that I ordered because my friend Christine, she is an Amazon researcher. I think she should get paid for it, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so for the stitch markers I make, I usually get the, um, oh, what do they call them? The, the French earrings, the Lieberbacks, um, but they're kind of like an oblong shape. Well, Christine told me about these ones that were round and I went, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Because I can use these. Look at that. They're round. So they could be used for crochet or knitting. And I got myself a 50-piece each of the gold and the silver. Now, I'm not going to switch out all my stitch markers for these. But any new ones that I make are gonna have these on them. And I got silver and I got gold and I got them from Ada Bell. Of course it's backwards. I'll try and link it. I am not affiliated with anybody. I have no affiliate links. I just love to order from Ada Bell, adabell.com. A-D-A-B-E-L-E -E dot com. Because if you make stitch markers, their products are really high quality and very nice. These are hypoallergenic. They are tarnish resistant. Yes. So I'm looking forward to making more stitch markers with these. Then, oh, that's not all. That is not all. I have recently ordered some crochet pattern books. One of them is this Mary Mac Maxim Kitchen Favorites. And you can see some of this stuff on the front that you can make with that. And on the back. I just, I just, I order mostly yarn. I just wanted something different, you know. And then, I've never done amigurumi before. Always a little intimidated by it. But kind of thought, oh, this is really detailed work. And uh, it, you know, I just kind of shied away from it. But I thought I would get into it. So I thought I ordered this with my kitchen favorites to make some kind of like beginner type amigurumis. And I'm an elephant freak. But shockingly, that's not my favorite. My favorite one is this owl guy. He's winking at you. Look at him. He's like, oh yeah, baby, give me your phone number. <laughs> and then, on top of the amigurumi, I went on um, Amazon. Because I saw this, I thought it was so cute. I forget what led me to this. But about a month ago, I ordered... The Disney Crochet Book. Look. Look at him. Is he just so cute? 
I look at that and I'm like, I'm so squishy inside. I love it. I love these so much. I just want to hug the book. They're so cute. Look at them again. Look. Oh, and I'm excited to work with these. I have a bunch of whips. So I can't get to this stuff like immediately, but I'm gonna, you just wait. I'm gonna, <laughs> I say that now, you know, <laughs> excuse me. And then several months ago, I didn't have a YouTube channel then, <laughs> so I can show this stuff off. But since Christmas is coming up, I'm going to show it off right now. So I got, again, a Mary Maxim crochet book, Holiday Favorites. And that's all the things you can make. I think there's a picture on the inside. Yeah, that shows all this stuff. And I thought a lot of it was, like, really cute. Look at it. Those are so cute. And then to go with it at the time, I had ordered a bunch of this Mary Maxim Scrub It yarn. And I haven't been able to make anything with it yet because I didn't realize in the book that it would also require just some um, plain red, white, and green cotton yarn, like sugar and cream or something. So I had only ordered this scrub it. But praise be to God, let me tell you, Premier had a special on their cotton glitz yarn and I ordered some red and green. <laughs> so my coaster's gonna sparkle yes <laughs> and then um during this time several months ago i had ordered some christmas yarn from mary maxim and i have a white a red and a green of this <laughs> this is the Mary Maxim Maximum Value yarn. It is 100% acrylic and it has 474 yards per ball. So I figured the three of these will make a really cool blanket or like a little throw or a lapkin, okay, or a pillow, <laughs> and then I ordered this, I haven't opened the package yet, but this is, hell, I'll open it right now. I don't know why I never opened this. I think I just got it and threw it in a pile because it was no longer Christmas time. This here, now this stuff, this is a tad bit soft, just a hair softer than Red Heart Super Saver. But this is the Worsted 8 yarn. They're 8 ounces. Look at those Christmas colors. Variegated. Strive to be different. We are all variegated, aren't we? I mean, just as human beings. Anyway, so this is the, the that it's also one hundred percent acrylic. It has four hundred eighty-nine yards, and I got this. I got a red one. And I got a green one. So I thought these babies would make a really nice blanket too. 
But this definitely feels like Red Heart Super Saver. So I assume that it's probably going to um, soften after it washes. But I've never used that yarn. So I only can cross my fingers and hope. <laughs> and then during that time, <laughs> I wanted to get something different. Things that I haven't done before just really kind of expand out of my shell, jump out of my box. And I got this. Now my daughter, she has a My Life doll. And this makes the, um, the robe and the little blanket for her doll. And so I'm going to make that for my little sugars. And I'm excited about that. It comes with a green and a white um, skein of the Worsted Weight Starlet yarn. This is actually pretty soft. Each of these 100% acrylic. 180 yards each. So that is Mary Maxim Starlet. And I got a white and a green. And it was like a, like a kit kind of thing. So I'll be making that for my daughter's doll soon. I think it, it's probably going to work up pretty quickly. I can, I can crochet pretty quickly if I don't have a million distractions around me. And then... Now we're really jumping out of that box, let me tell you. <laughs> I got these also. These are, this is an ornament kit. And it comes with pretty much everything you need except wire color cutters, needle, <laughs> needle nose pliers, and a glue gun. And I have all those anyway. And hopefully it, you'll be able to see. But I thought this would be fun to do with my daughter. I think she would just have so much fun putting these together. With um, the things that we've done so far. I think she would find these pretty easy. But this is something I intend to do with my daughter. And then I got another kit to make six Christmas ornaments. This is felt, I believe. It comes with felt to make six ornaments, complete pattern and illustrated instructions, embroidery floss for embellishment, and gold string. So I got this to do with her too, because I thought she'd have fun doing this. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see most of it. So, yep. So that is everything i'm really excited about christmas this year even though there's a lot of things just going all kind of helter skelter awry it's okay so that is everything that i got i am really excited to do some christmas projects and by the way, also check out Miss Cinnamon Stitches because that little mushroom that I was talking about, oh my gosh, it is so cute. I'm excited to do her little mushroom. I hinted around for her to make a tutorial. I was very nice about it. <laughs> I said no pressure, pressure. no pressure. <laughs> And she did it. I deserve no credit for her doing the YouTube tour the tutorial. <laughs> Even though she did me and Carrie Penny, which I love Carrie Penny too. And you should check her out as well. The hap I know I'm gonna get it wrong. I'm already subscribed to her, so like she comes up and then the happy crafty homemaker. Something like that. 
I'm so terrible with these things. She's going to be texting me like, how dare you get my name wrong? <laughs> no, she's so nice. Um, anyway, that is everything. I just wanted to share all that with you because I'm so excited about all of it. And I'm going to make some Christmas blankets. And I just finished this Christmas blanket. And the world is all happy, joyful, squishy love. <laughs> And if there's anything I forgot to mention in this video, it'll be in the next one. And you, oh, what, what? I did forget to mention something. I'm sorry this video is so long. I am not gonna put this in my description, but I'm gonna tell you something. I have a giveaway going on in December. I'm so excited about it because not only is December the month of giving, it's all about like gifts and family and everything, but December is also my birthday month. <laughs> my birthday is December 5th. <laughs> and I wanted to do a giveaway because I wanted to give back. I'm telling you, I love to give my choice, not because I'm obligated, but because I love to give because I get such a high off giving. Anyway, I am doing a giveaway and any YouTuber is free to participate. It's up to them. It matters none to me because I'm doing it anyway. But if any YouTuber wants to jump on board, I'm all for it. Anyway, so hold on. I, I had a really clever title for it. Give me just a second. You know the winter shuts down mentally. So basically, I'll just describe it and then maybe it'll trigger the title. I had such a really cool, clever title and now I'm just like, Where'd it go? <laughs> anyway, so I'm doing a giveaway. And the cool thing about this giveaway is I'm giving away a mixture of some yarn and stitch markers. And the person who wins this giveaway, only one person can win, must be 18 years or older. And really super unfortunately, it has to be somebody in the United States because I just cannot afford to ship to another country at this time. And I feel super bad for that. And I'm really so sorry about that. But this is open only to US residents. Must be 18 years of age. You do not have to be subscribed to my channel, but it would be nice if you were. This is not an effort to get subscribers. This is just me needing that giving rush. It's just the month of giving. It's my birthday. I want to give something. So what happens is I will do the random draw, comment picker. The person that I choose will also be able to choose one other person to gift a box to. <laughs> So the, the winner gets a box and then they get to gift a box to someone else. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, I remember. It's called Win a Box, Gift a Box Giveaway. The Win a Box, Gift a Box Giveaway. I'm very excited. So anyway... That is it. I don't know what's gonna be in the boxes yet. It's gonna be a surprise. In fact, I'm not even gonna show what's in the box. It's a gift. Why would I show what's in the box? <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough. I'm at like 30 minutes now, so I hope you all can get through this entire video. Anyway, that's everything. 
and I'll see you in my next video.